Hi everybody, this is Abby here. If you have seen my previous videos, I've done a jacket and coats collection and a bag collection. And if you haven't seen it, I will make sure to leave a link in the description box below. Today's video, as I promised, I will show you my blazer collection. I have eight items to show you today. Two of them overlap with my jacket and coats collection. And if you enjoy this type of videos or if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button just so I know that you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get started with the first blazer, I do have my own preference for blazer. I much prefer an oversized fit and also the cuff or the sleeves. Um, I much prefer the one with the buttons on the sleeves or a little slit on the sleeve just so I can roll it up. A very critical point for a blazer for me is a slit in the back because I am petite, the slit in the back does help with the movement. And also I do prefer single breasted over double breasted because the double breasted one are just too boxy for me and I am petite. Double breasted will just swamp me all together. And all the sizes and everything and the links to the items if you are interested or want to use my stats, my sizes for reference, I will leave all that information in the description box below. All right, the first one is probably my least favorite one and it's probably the cheapest one out of all of them. This one is from H&M. It is a cream three quarter length sleeve blazer. I think they come in black and lilac as well. This one is a size 34. Usually I don't go for size down in the blazer, but this one I got for a very particular event that I went to. I've worn it once and never touched it since just because it doesn't tick any boxes, the blazer preference. <laughs> this one doesn't have any buttons or slit in on the sleeves. It doesn't have slit in the back. It's just a very slim fitting, a very tailored. Also, the fabric is not very nice. It is made out of 100% polyester on, and it, on the inside, I believe it's also a polyester. It's just not very nice. The front doesn't have any fastening, which is fine with me because I wear it open anyway. The pocket is not functional. It's just a decorative pocket. I keep it just because in case I need for some type of event and just in case I need it, I will have it on hand. So yeah, this is from H&M. I don't remember the price but I believe it was somewhere between 27 to 35 pounds, somewhere in between, or you can get it very, very even cheaper in, in the sales section. But moving on to the next one, now this one is my much preferred everyday a blazer. It is really, really nice. This one is from Mango. It is a, what is it called? mango pattern suit blazer. I got this for about 50 pounds on sale. I believe the retail price is about 70 to 80 pounds, but I got this on sale. It ticked all the boxes. It is single breasted. There is one turtle shell button here and the front, all the front pockets are decorative pockets. They aren't functional, which is fine with me. I don't usually put stuff in my blazer pockets anyway. It does have a turtle shell buttons on the sleeves and also a slit in the back. And also the colors, it's it's very nice cream color, but it's not flat cream color. It's like a like a woven pattern beige and cream and it is so so nice. The cut is just a perfect oversized fit. I got this in a size small. It is already oversized. You don't have to size up in this one. The fabric is made out of polyester and a viscose blend. And on the inside is also very nice beige lining. I really, really enjoy this one. I wear my blazers um, like scrunch up. I use my hairband to scrunch up sleep just because I am petite and the sleeves are just way too long on me, so I, I just I just prefer wearing it like scrunched up on the sleeves. I find it better <laughs> on me. Yeah, this one is from Mango. I really enjoy this one. I love everything about it. The color, the fit, the cut, just, just about everything I really enjoy. Next two items are from Sarah. They are about the same 
the same cut, the same fit. I have one in black and one in this really beautiful brownish sort of, it has a tinge of green. It is really unique colors. I particularly love this color. It is very difficult to describe, but I just really love it. So I have one in black and this one. So both of these I got in a size medium. The, the black one is, I have tried a size small and it's, it's not, it's called oversized blazer, but it's not oversized enough. So I size up to a medium. This one is made out of polyester and viscose blend, almost like the mango ones. The fabric and the cut is very, very similar, but this one does have a peak lapel and one buttons in the front. The, the black one does have a black buttons and the pockets I haven't checked if it's functional, but if it's not, it's fine. And also it has the buttons on the sleeves and the slit in the back, which is very, very nice. <laughs> very important detail for me it is single breasted peak lapel everything about it i just really enjoy and also it has lining i believe is viscose blend lining but i could be wrong i don't mind if it's not because it is comfortable enough to wear it is black i can't find anything wrong about this i just i just love it so much i got this for 50 pounds i believe it was on sale it used to be this price but as you know sarah has checked out their price in the past couple years now the retail price of this i believe is 80 pounds now but i got this for about 50 pounds yeah this one is an oversized fit i did size up in this one as well as this one, this brown one here, I have so much wear out of this one already. And as you can see, I still have like my, my hairband still on it because I wear it a lot. The features, it's exactly as the black one, single breasted, black button and buttons on the sleeves and also the slit in the back. It is very important for me. The fabric is much, much, much nicer than the first blazer, and I guess the price does reflect what you get. This one does have also the peak lapel, which I find really, really nice. Um, it's also the same fabric blend as the black one, and the cut is very similar. This one is also in a size medium. I size up in this one. I usually wear a small across the board top and bottom, but this one, although it's said oversized fit, it is not really oversized fit. It's more like a regular fit, but yeah, I did size up in this one. On the camera, it doesn't show the true colors of, I don't know if that helps, but it's much darker in real life, but I will put the real, real colors on the screen. Um, just so you can see this one, the color is just really, really, really unique. I really love this one. All right, let's move to Arquettes. I have two blazers from Arquettes. Let's see, I let's start with the one I don't like as much. I mean, I, I like it, but I don't, I don't enjoy it as much. This one is a Arquette Hopsack wool blazer. It is made out of 100% wool and on the inside it's the fabric called Estee. I'm not familiar with this uh, with this fabric and it's, it just feels like viscose and polyester. So this one doesn't have the slit, uh, doesn't have the buttons on the sleeve, but it does have a slit just so I can easily roll it up. The front does have one, uh, one total shell button and also pockets i'm not sure if it's functional let's see it's not functional i guess but that's fine so it's not a peak lapel this one this is the first time that i felt 100 wool blazer but it's not like a wool wool blazer it's almost like polyester feel it's not a bad thing <laughs> it's just a very very light wool blazer you can wear this like in transitional weather which is really nice the back does have a slit now this one is like a brown very light brown camel or camel yeah it's camel color 
it is very nice the thing that i don't like about this one though is the the slouchy shoulders i just don't know if that's because i got the wrong size i got this one in a size 34 i said a 34 uh, yeah i got this one in a size 34 but um i don't know if i would go down to a 32 because the fit on the body and the sleeves already spot on it's just the slouchy shoulders right here that i don't like but other than that it is very nice blazer i don't reach for it as much just because the slouchy shoulders i'm not sure what i'm going to do about this one i might resell it because i see no point keeping it because i don't reach for it as much all right, the next one is also from Arquette. Now this one is, I much prefer over the other one um, for many reasons. One of them is the color is really nice. I just really like this chocolate brown color. It's also made out of 100%, is it 100% wool? Yeah, it is 100% wool. On the inside, it's also the same fabric as the previous one. I got this in a size 34. Does have the slit on the sleeve just so I could roll it up. Now this one does have, where is it, a slit on the sleeves like this and also the slit in the back. This one I just really love. I don't know what is what it is about peak lapel. It's just really, really nice. Everything about this, the fit, the cut, the fabric is just super, super perfect. I really enjoy it and you don't have to uh, size up, I think. But if you really like like over oversized fit, you could. I did size down in this one. I'm usually fall into it's 36 uh, European size or UK size is I believe it's European size 36. But I got this in a 34, which is size down. Yeah, this one is from our kit. All right, we're down to the last two. These two I've shown in my jacket and coats collection already. They are from and other stories. I got one in beige and one in camel. These retail for 164. I got the beige one for full price and the camel one I got it on sale for about 70 pounds. The beige one I got in a size 34 and the camel one I got in a size 36. I will be honest, there is no difference between the two. Now these are wool uh, material. Uh, the beige one is made out of 68% wool and the rest is polyester. It is nice and warm. It is a like a coat material. It is very nice and thick like a jacket material. It does have a really nice lapel, two buttons in the front and also buttons on the sleeves. A very critical point that I, it, I find it very important is the slit in the back. It does have and yeah, it is just a very nice and warm jacket for winter really nice for winter it is as it is a jacket material it is nice and warm the color is very beautiful it's like a beige and brown and it's 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 just very nice color and then the brown one it's a slightly different wool blend it does have a 77 percent wool material and the rest is polyester on the inside, I believe it is a viscose and polyester blend, or I could be wrong <laughs> about that. But yeah, the cut is very similar to the previous one. Like I said, this camel one I got in a size 36, and there's no difference between the last one and this one. The fit is just very, very similar. It does have very nice buttons on the sleeves and also the slit in the back, like this. Yeah, the camel is just a very, very beautiful camel color. It is very nice and warm. I very, very enjoy it this winter and I can see myself wearing this for years and years to come. And I just really love it. Yeah, that is all the blazers that I own. I'm trying not to add any more blazers in my collection, but if there is one small gap in my blazer collection, that would be a linen blazer. I'm still on a lookout for a perfect fit, perfect linen fabric blend or 100% a linen fabric blazer. If I could find it, I might add that into the collection in the future. But for now, I'm just being patient and 
waiting for the right fabric blend, fabric content, or perfect cut and fit. And that's just another story for another time. And if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button just so I know that you enjoy it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.